moment how you have a random like tingle of pain on your face and it's that dreaded moment where you know there's a pimple coming that's me right now i literally just found out i have a pimple coming up right here so annoyed because i have an event tomorrow and i'm really excited i just got back from work and i was like okay my skin is doing absolutely amazing right now i'm so happy with it because i've been drinking like two liters of water per day and that's quite a lot for me so i was like okay my skin is thriving like this is not so bad and then bam got a, like a pimple here and it's in my teaser and it really hurts so to combat that i'm going to be using one of these tone pads because this always helps get rid of my pimples so hopefully the pimple isn't as evident tomorrow also my first ever designer brand makeup up ever deal i got the viral blush and the viral highlighter yeah. and i did an overnight face mask it's this one from house of doa it's a peach blossom one it's really good because it really moisturizes my skin so then it gives me that like glass skin look the next day which is what i'm going for i really want to have super nice dewy fresh skin i'm so tired right now because i woke up at 6 a.m this morning and i went for a run in one degree like it was so cold the grass so frosty and everything but it was really good i really like it i felt like it's good for my skin it is 9 39 or 9 40 p.m and i'm waiting for my friend to get back from her game so that i can call her and talk about the plan for tomorrow because to be honest we haven't really organized anything but i have organized my outfit with my mom thanks to my mom and my mom thank you to my mom and we've laid it out <laughs> Look, I got my mom a matching Udi, so she's really cute. Ah! Thanks to my mom, she helped me pick out an outfit, which is gone now, but <laughs> I laid it out on the floor here, but it's like completely gone, so I'll try and show you. I got brown leather pants. Bear in mind, guys, it's also winter, it's freezing cold, and tomorrow's maximum temperature is 13 degrees. And the event's at like night when it's cold and there's no sun, so I want to be warm. Part of that outfit is this brown little coat thing from Uniqlo. It's really nice and warm. It's like a felt one. And Uniqlo always does really good stuff, so I put my trust in my faith in this bad boy here. And then I just got some layers going on, like a white shirt and a cream vest and some white boots. Oh, my brother just got home somewhere. There he is. Anyways, it's a paint and soup event, so it's going to be super chilling. And I like stalked the page on Instagram to see like what the kind of vibe is, and then that's how I figure out how to dress. But yeah, that's my planning. I'm gonna wait for my friend to call and then try and figure out how we get in there because it's in the city. Shock me out the sky. I'm going out of my mind. Oh, because it's way warmer and comfier. I'm so tired. I am watching See You in My 19th Life on Netflix and it is so good, you guys. It's a K-drama and I'm loving it. And I'm on the final episode. I have like 20 minutes left. It's at that point where I'm like trying to drag it out because I don't want to finish it too soon without having like another K-drama like right off the bat. Otherwise I get like post K-drama watching sadness. If you have any good K-drama recommendations, leave them in the comments below. Good morning. I'm so tired. It is 7.13 a.m. It's so cold this morning, but I kind of wanted to wake up early because I want to go shopping and like get some organizers. I am halfway through organizing my contact lens and then like I want to come home clean and like shower and do my hair and everything before the event. Time to make breakfast. So I'm gonna be making my trusty nafto. Get it out from the fridge. I love this breakfast so much. I always eat it every single day. <laughs> dark and gray to check so i just chucked on a knit sweater because i am on my way to office works now and i'm gonna be driving let's go 
last night I had salmon and mum likes to air fry the salmon so the skin is really nice and crispy. It was absolutely delicious but I was too greedy and really hungry so I was eating quickly and then like the skin cut my gums. Now I'm in a bit of pain but speaking about like teeth and stuff like that I think my face shape is changed. It's always changing because my retainer now doesn't fit and I have to call the dentist and make an appointment to you know get the retainer refit into my mouth and I hate phone calls especially when to the dentist because they low key scare me. Anyways, we are in the car on the way to Office Works. Nice. I'm at Office Works. Now I go buy this one tiny thing that is so small, but it is so expensive. Look how cute my mum looks today. Oh, come on. Uh, alarm. Yeah, the alarm just went off and we were like, oh my god, please don't go off. We need this SD card. Oh wow, look at this Apple station. Wow, this is so cool. I'm so sidetracked right now. Ooh. I just got so sidetracked because I have a new Apple station, but now I am where the SD cards are. This. Just this one, please. <laughs> got the goods. It was so funny because the lady accidentally scanned it twice and told me it was almost $200 and I was like, what? My bank account cannot do that right now. God, it was only $99. Only 99 cents. Anyways, now we are going to go to Kmart. I've been loving Kmart recently because it just makes me feel like a way more organized person and like I really am, you know, trying to be that organized, that girl. I already have one of these to store all my contact lens but I need another one because the other one was too small and I think it would be good if I could separate it into daily and monthly. It just doesn't look too aesthetic. No, no, no. This would be so good for filming little shorts and TikToks because then you can actually see, I don't know, kind of don't want to spend money without being 100% certain on a purchase. This would be so good for my makeup. If you have a Flybys card, please scan it now. Slay. Scene accepted. Got so many things. Well, not really, but they're kind of big and bulky. This is my Kmart haul. And then I got this big one here. And obviously my trusty SD card. But I'll show you. So this is where I store all my contact lens. Here. So I already have one box and then I got another one so I can break them up and I can't wait to be organized. Kmart always delivers nice, good, cheap stuff. It's like, I guess, an Australian version of the US Target. This one's great because it just slides in and out. Well, that was loud. The other one that I have that's got all my contact lens in there doesn't slide because it is stuffed to the brim. So I was like, yeah, okay, we definitely need a new one. And then I finally got something to store my makeup because it's just sitting up there. And also it would absolutely break my makeup. If any of my makeup fell off of my tall boy and then shattered, no. Especially not after I got those Dior makeup pieces. It's got like two high tiers here and then two bottom ones down there. Let's get organizing. First up, I really want to organize my contact lens because they are only half done and I hate leaving things half finished. I'm going to organize everything into like a monthly tub and then a daily tub for my contacts. If you don't wear contacts, what I mean is that monthlies are like monthly contacts so you replace them every month. Dailies are just contacts that you chuck out after you wear each day. I'm thinking the monthlies can just stay in this box. Do you guys see all this makeup? So I've got a lot of lip balm. I love my lip balm, but it's just looking a little bit messy. So I thought we could organize it. Make it be best when Up, 
I feel so happy but like the next step is to clean the top of my tall boy and it is quite dusty so I think I'm gonna dedicate like a whole day to just cleaning my room and organizing it it was so satisfying to me like it feels like I just went to therapy now I'm gonna have some lunch and then prepare for my event I'm so excited I've decided I'm gonna straighten my hair with the Dyson so that's the look I'm going for today and I'm in a bit of a rush <laughs> to the event this is the first influencer event that i've ever driven to and i'm with my bestie katie say hi. hi we are here like 10 minutes early so i thought we'd just chill in the car before we head in because i don't want to be the first person and usually to these events i'm always the first person so i kind of want to act more like chill and like you know i wasn't stressed and anxious as anything getting here too scared of that the fries got some nuggets because i haven't had them in ages and then i got a chicken cheeseburger maybe i'll have this first it's just so good baby it's so <laughs> questionable <laughs> oh wow <What? laughs> wow yummy it's so flat wow. mm. Mm, it's good double cheeseburger yum i was contemplating doing the double but mm. i was like i'll make up for it in nuggets that's a good idea. I was so busy. Oh, what? Like, it's popular in the city. Mmm, so, mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the event? Mmm. I feel like Macca's chicken just hits different. Because it's not chicken. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, it's so <laughs> fake. This is so wuss me, but KFC chicken is too spicy. I mean, I love the popcorn chicken. I love hash browns in here. Because they're a breakfast item. I don't want a hash brown for breakfast. Yeah. But I want it, like, after a class. I've heard that they're good after a class. Oh, they're so good. Hey, everybody. I don't really understand sororities. In the movies, they always paint them to be super mean. Mm. And so, ah, education about the dangers of like. Hey guys, so I am back home in bed. That was a day in my life. I took you guys to a L'Oreal event. I had so much fun in that event. Like it was a really nice, intimate, kind of chill gathering. I love getting creative at events. And okay, like yes, I was severely humbled because my painting, like I've had better days of painting. You know, I used to really love like painting, especially with acrylics, but I haven't painted in like literal years. So it was really fun to just embrace that side of me and get back into painting. Even though it wasn't that great. I don't drink alcohol so at first I was like a bit nervous because I was like it was titled Prosecco and paint and at first I was like oh are they gonna have like non-alcoholic drinks or am I just gonna have to drink water but they were super super amazing and they had a really cool array of mocktails which I had like two and they were so good. I had a yellow one and a white one and there were some really fancy flavors but here's the thing. I'm also fructose intolerant so it might show on my skin later. <laughs> which is kind of really sad because I have been working towards trying to get really my skin health and get rid of the pimples so I've been drinking heaps and heaps of water and like it, it's been pretty good like 
Not bad, right? So it'll probably come up in a few days, but whatever. I had fun. Even now I'm rambling, like, shut up. It's bedtime. It's 12.03 a.m., which is, like, super late, and I don't really go to bed that late. Probably go to sleep now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below what other content you'd like to see from me, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh,